this is the Sony C4 and we're mining right now and we're drawing one amp on five volts here it is on high no real big amperage difference so to show you one more time let's turn it on off and then you see the amps drop just a little bit now let me kick start it and you'll see the amps rise and then they'll stabilize Very little amperage really to run mining. So this is the Bitcoin mining for the Volt Generation 2. So if you take a look at this phone, it uses even less amperage to mine, even though it's mining even a bit slower than the Volt 1, just slightly, but it's using less amperage. And it's also OLED, so this is not a bad option as well, the LG Volt 2. This is a Vivo XL by BLU and this draws very low amperage too. Look at the amount of hash rate and look at the amperage drawn. So this is actually a very good phone to mine with and the reason why is because it has multiple cores so it can mine very fast compared to the other phones. And then the amperage drawn is very low. And this is the kind of uh, two things that we're looking for when we're mining with cell phones. Long battery life is great. Low amperage drawn. And high hash rate. So this is a Nexus 5X, it's drawing low amps as well, mining at high speeds. Now this is an LG Volt. I actually love this phone as one of my miners and the reason why is because one the screen is OLED so it saves battery and two if you see um, the amperature here it's quite low it's lower than the C4 it's slower than the C4 but it's also lower than the C4 so it was really cheap to buy to start with so this is a very good beginner using um, OLED technology to save batteries and then also the device using very low amperage helps in the process of mining.
And finally, what we're gonna do here is show you the different coins. So with Bitcoin, it's pulling 1.25 amps. With Dashcoin, it's pulling 1.25 amps. With Digital Note, it's pulling the same. And so the energy use for the different kind of coins, it's all roughly the same. So it doesn't really matter which coin you mine because you're pulling the same amount of energy. It's just a matter of which coin do you prefer to mine. I wanted to make this video to share with everybody my findings in regards to energy use for cell phone mining. And finally, we're going to test the Quasar coin. Please keep in mind that I have solar panels that charge these battery packs. Feel free to check out one of my videos to see the solar panel setups and also how it all works. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe.